Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. So what these two waters both have in common is they both have caffeine added to them. And so first up is Water Joe, and next up is Kick 2O Water. And we're going to start off by doing a comparison of their pH levels. Alright, I just put these drops in the water, and this is the color of their pH level. You guys can look at the chart yourself and decide which number you think it is. Water Joe does not claim to have a pH level, I don't think. Kick 2O does claim to be a 7 pH level. So what do you guys think? you think that's accurate? Leave a comment letting me know. So in a few minutes, it's about to be midnight. It's kind of a stupid time for me to be reviewing caffeinated waters. Because uh, they're supposed to like keep you awake and give you energy when I should be going to bed pretty soon. But anyway, here we go. These are both pretty similar waters. They're both caffeinated. They're both kind of similar sizes. They're both mainly purchased online, I would assume. Um, Kick 2O, I bought this on eBay. This was $25 for a 12 pack. So roughly, you know, $2 per bottle. The Water Joe, I actually got for free. Um, I think I requested it on their website and I told them I review waters and I said, hey, you want to send me one? I'll review it. So I think, um, I think I requested it or maybe they just sent it to me out of the blue or something. I don't really remember. But normally this is $24 on Amazon for a 12 pack. So the prices are both pretty similar, about, about $2 a bottle for both of these with you know, with shipping included, that's not terrible. That's a little bit high, but if you like, you know, caffeine, if that's really important to you, then that's not that crazy of a price. Um, I reviewed another caffeinated water in the past, a Vitae, sparkling and a still version of it from Giant Eagle, and that was a dollar something. So it's not that crazy to pay that, you know, a couple cents extra for free shipping. The Water Joe water has 85 milligrams of caffeine. The Kick 2O has 100 milligrams of caffeine. So the Kick 2O has a stronger kick to it. You know, it's a smaller bottle. It's a smaller amount of water. And there's more caffeine in this one. So that's a little difference. These both have pretty similar star ratings on Amazon. They both have about 4.5 stars which is actually pretty good for an Amazon rating. Uh, one of the negative reviews for Kick 2O said it tasted like water with dissolved aspirin in it. I thought that was kind of interesting. I'm not really sure what dissolved aspirin tastes like, but after I uh, you know, do the taste test, well, I guess we'll find out. Um, the Water Joe water, I saw that Windows 8253, one of the other big uh, water drinkers on YouTube, he said that this water was, <laughs> it's the worst water ever. <laughs> he, uh, Windows did not like the taste of this water at all. So I'm interested in, in uh, tasting it just to see how terrible it is. Um, an interesting thing about this label is the sticker they put on it is double-sided. I've reviewed waters like this in the past, but I think it's just a neat little extra touch that they do. Uh, just you know, has a different pattern on the inside, different color and different text. So if you look through the bottle, you see, you know, their web, their website inside of there. So let's just open these up and, uh, do the comparison. Actually, they're already open because I did the pH test. Um, no smell to it. They both advertise that caffeine is supposed to be odorless and uh, tasteless. So they, sort of market it as having no taste. So that's like a good thing if it has no taste. I do, <laughs> I kind of agree with that review. It kind of tastes like an aspirin or something. Cough drop or some kind of like medicine or something. These all have, they both have zero fat, zero carbs, zero sugar, zero added flavors. Um, so it's supposed to be flavorless. But that does, does kind of have a, a kick to it.
this kind of has a similar taste to it, but it's less strong. Maybe that's because the caffeine in this is more diluted, because it's it's more water and it's less caffeine. So this kind of has a, a less of an aspirin taste to it, but kind of more of a plasticky bottle taste to it. Um, yeah, Windows says this is the worst water ever. I, I don't agree with that. I've had worse <laughs> waters, but it's also not great either. Uh, this is from Minneapolis, Minnesota. And I don't really have much else to say about these. I like that it has the, uh, the shiny metallic text. I don't know why I like that, but pretty much every water I've had with that metallic text I like. I actually overpaid for the the uh, kick water. I paid $25 on Amazon. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I paid $25 on eBay. But... If you go to Amazon, you can find it for $19. And this actually showed up to my house in an Amazon box. So I think the person on eBay just ordered directly from Amazon and had the, the package um, just strip, uh, shipped straight to me. And I think that the extra money they just profited from. But it, it was actually... Okay, because I used a coupon for eBay, and I used some eBay bucks. So it, it actually cost me less, even though I paid more. What do you guys think of these changes I made? See this shelf in the corner? I made it longer. And I got rid of those, uh, you know, those small shelves in the middle. It makes it more minimal in some way. And I got this um, blackboard over here, which is made to draw on. You can take notes on it and stuff. But I'm probably um, gonna end up just using it as a magnet board for you know sticking magnets on there and pieces of paper and stuff. But I like it. All right, back to the water. I think I like Water Joe's, um, their name better, because a cup of Joe is a cup of coffee, and it, you know, it says water in big, bold letters. If you see this on the shelf, you know exactly what it is. It's, you know, water, coffee. Kick 2 it's unclear that it's supposed to actually be water. It's like, you know, in small text, that's water. Uh, but as far as the taste goes... I'm going to say that Kick 2.0 is the winner, though. They both have that aspirin-y flavor to them, the aspirin taste to them. I guess that's the taste of caffeine. Uh, maybe some people just don't notice that, because a lot of the <laughs> reviews I saw on YouTube of these, the people just didn't seem to notice that taste at all. That actually tastes like water! But... This has like the aspirin taste and a sort of plastic bottle taste to it also. So yeah, Kick is the winner. Congratulations, Kick. And thanks for watching everyone. Bye.